Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? We are simplifying cube root of 2 plus root 5, then plus cube root of 2 minus root 5. Here, to make our work easier, let's represent this as x so that we are simplifying x. Then we can rewrite this as saying this is x equals to a plus b. Whereby our a is cube root of 2 plus root 5 and the b is cube root of 2 minus root 5. And from there, let's take the cube on both sides. So we have x cube equals to a plus b, then cube. Then when we expand what we have here on the right hand side, this same thing as a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. Then from here, the left hand side still remains s cube. Then when we factorize, 3ab is common here. So this becomes a cube plus b cube. Then plus we have 3ab out. Then what is left here is a plus b. And then from here, we have a cube. Because our a is cube root of 2 plus root 5. So a cube will be the same thing as Keep we cancel keep root, then we remain 2 plus 5 as a cube, then plus b cube as well. Keep cancel keep root, then b cube now become 2 minus root 5. From what we have here, that is this is a, this is b, then keep cancel keep root here, keep cancel keep root, so that we have this. Then from here, this is a plus b, we represent a plus b as x, so a plus b is x, so instead of writing a plus b here, let's write x, then we have plus 3ab, then times x, then from here, let's find ab, let's find the value of ab, don't forget that plus 5 and minus 5 cancel out. And then this one becomes 2 plus 2, that's 4. So we have equals to 4 plus 3abx. Then let's find ab. Since uh, a is cube root of uh, 2 plus root 5, then b multiplied by b now is cube root of 2 minus root 5 so this is a b now so that a b will now be equal to this then by the time we multiply both are having cube root so let's bring it under cube root then we have 2 plus root 5 then multiply by 2 minus root 5 and when we discover what we have inside the root inside the cube roots here they are conjugate sort and then simply when we expand that will be 2 square minus root 5 square from difference of 2 square so that will be cube root of 2 square that's 4 then minus root 5 square that's 5 so that will be cube root of minus 1 so this is equal to cube root of minus 1 and cube root of minus 1 same thing as minus 1 and then we replace a b here now as minus one and this equation will become so x cube now will then give us four plus three times minus one that's still minus three because a b is minus one then x so that so that we can take this everything to one side and we use it to form an equation We have x cube, then minus come here become plus 3x, then plus come here become minus 4 equals 0. Then we can express this 3x as this becomes x cube, then minus x plus 4x, then minus 
4 equals to 0. Then from here, when we group this one to 2, what is common here is x. Then we have x squared minus 1 left here. Then plus 4 is common here. Then x minus 1 equals to 0. So here as well, we have difference of two squares. This we can write this because this is also one square. One is one square. So this is x plus one multiplied by x minus one. Then plus four multiplied by x minus one, which is equal to zero. So here we have x minus one, x minus one. Bring it out. We have x minus one out. Then we have x times x plus one. When x open the bracket, that's t s square plus x. Then we have plus four here, which is equal to zero. And then from here, we have two possible cases: x minus one equals to zero, or we have x square minus plus x plus four equals to zero. So from here, x equals to one. S equals to one from here. And from this side, we can find the x by using the quadratic formula, and which is minus b, and b here is 1, so minus 1, plus or minus square root of b square, that's 1 square, then minus 4a, a is 1, then c, c is 4, so over 2a, that's 2 times 1. And by the time we solve this, we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 16 square 1 square is 1 then minus 4 times 4 that's minus 16 that gives us minus 15 1 minus 16 minus 15 over 2 the minus 15 can be expressed as root 15 times root minus 1 and that's root 15 times i because root minus 1 is i so here we have let me write it here. So here we have x to be equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 15i over 2. So here we have complex solution here. So therefore, the expression that we have can be reduced to 1 or can be reduced to minus 1 plus root 15i over 2 or minus 1 minus root 15i over 2. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. Thank you. See you in the next class. And bye for now.